Ball at the 25-yard line. Ball on the right hash for the quarterback. Takes a shotgun snap. He looks left. The Colts coming with heat, and they bury him. Back to the 15-yard line, and it's Bobby Okariki. That's a loss of 10 in the first sack of the season for Okariki. And the Colts three and out the Titans on the first drive of the game. Trips to the right side. That's the wide side of the field. Van Hill takes a shotgun snap, backs the throw, feeling heat. Now he's going to take off and run. 40, 45. He's at the 50-yard line inside Colts territory. Gives himself up at the Indianapolis 47. That's a gain of 17 on a quarterback scramble by Ryan Tannehill and a first down on third down and three. Tennessee just one for four on fourth down tries so far this season. They were 0 for 1 last week against Seattle. Fourth and four at the Colts 41. Tannehill out of the gun. Three receivers bunched to the right. He drops the pass. He throws over the middle. Wide open. Julio Jones. A crossing pattern inside the 20-yard line of the Colts. Make that the 30. I beg your pardon. He's ran out of bounds by Julian Blackman inside the 30. They'll put the ball down at the 26. So a gain of 15 on fourth and four. Now Tennessee back to work, first and 10. The Colts 26-yard line, I formation. They send the fullback into the game. That's Torrey Carter. They give off left side to Derrick Henry. Across the 25, he bounces it outside. He's inside the 10, and his knee will go down as Julian Blackman with a touchdown saving tackle. And the Titans are inside the red zone in the first big run of the day for Derrick Henry inside the five. Tannehill out of the gun. Three receivers go right. Blown back is Henry to the left. Tannehill takes a shotgun snap, looks left, scans, throws upfield into the end zone, touchdown. And that is Chester Rogers. The former Colts wide receiver finds Paydirt on third down and six. So Tennessee on their second drive of the game, they go right down the field. They go nine plays, 65 yards, 447 off the clock. And Chester Rogers finds the end zone. And Tennessee draws first blood. It's six to nothing over the Colts with 634 to go here in the first quarter. The Colts run it left side. Jonathan Taylor, huge hole, cuts back. He's at the 30, 35 at the 40-yard line and brought down the 42. The first explosive play of the game for the Colts, and it's Jonathan Taylor. And that's the first first down of the game for the Colts. First and 10 across the 40-yard line. Tannehill goes out of the gun, has McNichols in now as the running back to the left. Three receivers deployed to the left. Tannehill looks right, scans, fires, pump fakes. Going to loft it upfield, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the Colts, and it's Darius Leonard. And then Leonard lost the ball. Leonard had it poke free, but he got it back. Oh, what a play. Intercepted by Darius Leonard, and he was being casual with the football, carrying it like a loaf of bread after he picked it off. And then he had it stripped from him, and then it took a fortuitous bounce back to Darius Leonard on the near sideline. So the Colts get their second interception of the season. Put the ball down at the nine officially, so it's going to bring up second down and four for the Colts. 10.35 to go here. Quarter number two on the Ruoff Mortgage scoreboard. It's Tennessee seven and the Colts nothing. Carson Wentz goes out of the gun. His running back mate is Naeem Hines to the right side. Now they're going to move Mo Ali Cox in short motion back to the right side. Out of the gun is Wentz. Hands off left side of Naeem Hines at the five-yard line. Looking for the pylon. Dives at the marker. No signal yet. There it is. Touchdown, Naeem Hines. Touchdown, I-N-D-Y. And it's 7-6, to 10-19 to go in the second quarter. Second down and seven for Tennessee on the move. Right to left on the Colts defense. 9.50 to go here in the second quarter. We're tied at seven on the Ruoff Mortgage scoreboard. Empty set for Ryan Tannehill. Wafts it over the head of Julio Jones, but he brings it down. I thought that was going to sail out of bounds, but Jones climbed the ladder, makes the catch inside Colts territory, and brings it down at the plus 48-yard line for a first down. First and 10 at the 18-yard line of the Colts inside the red zone are the Titans. Play action wide open. Westbrook Aquina into the end zone, and he went in untouched. Little slant pattern, caught the ball at the 10, and then sprinted up the left hash mark into the end zone for a touchdown. An 18-yard quick throw by Ryan Tannehill and the former Indiana Hoosier, Nick Westbrook Aquina, finds the end zone for Tennessee the second time they've done that today. And it's now 13 to 7, 5.56 to play in the second quarter. So I formation behind Tannehill. He bootlegs on a play action to the right side, hits Swaim in the flat across the 25 to 30, 35. He's at the 40 yard line and then is tackled forward from behind by the Colts. A huge gainer to the tight end out of Texas, Jeff Swaim across the 40, and they'll mark him down at the 43 yard line. An empty set now for Tannehill. Three receivers to the right side. That's the wide side of the field. Tannehill takes a shotgun step. 
Fires over the middle. It's, it is bobbled, and it's in the air, and it's picked off by the Colts, and it's Kenny Moore running the other way down the near sideline, 40, 45, 50, inside Titan territory, and he's ridden down the 40-yard line, inside plus territory, and the Colts get a break on a tip drill. The ball hung up in the air, intercepted by Kenny Moore, and he sprints the other way with it, and the Colts have their second takeaway of the game today. Carson Wentz with his offense on the field again, moving it left to right on this Tennessee front. Takes a shotgun snap, he backs the pass, he's got time. And now the time runs out and he's sacked. He is brought down by those ankles back inside Colts territory. And on the sack, that's Danico Autry in there. Also, he had help from his running mate. That's Ola Adani. A 43 yard try here for Rodrigo Blankenship. Ball between the hash marks out of the hold of Sanchez. Snap, ball down, has the leg. It's up and it is good. So that's how the first half comes to a close as uh, Rodrigo Blankenship stays perfect on the season on field goals. He's now five for five. That one good from 43 yards. Wentz barking the signals. Takes the snap, hands off to Taylor. He's got a first down inside the 40, still going. Second and third effort to the 35-yard line. That's a gain of six. Well executed by the Colts and a great powerful run by Jonathan Taylor to move the sticks. Wentz under center. He's going to hand off to Jonathan Taylor. Powers forward, first down, and then some. Great call by Frank Reich. Well executed by the Colts. Jonathan Taylor lined up as the fullback right there, and he muscled it down to the nine-yard line for a first down. It's first and goal for the Colts. There's a short field goal for Rodrigo Blankenship. They'll put the ball down at the 18, so a 28-yard chip shot out of the hold of Sanchez. Kick is up, and it is good. So Rodrigo Blankenship stays perfect on the season. Two for two today, six for six on the year. And the Colts get three more on the board. And that was the first drive of the third quarter. Not seven, but the Colts get three. Play action, Tannehill on a bootleg, scrambles to the right, looking, looking. Now he's going to take off and run. 45-50, 45, cuts back. 40 inside Colts territory, and he's swallowed down at the plus 32-yard line. That is a gain of 28 on a quarterback scramble by Ryan Tannehill. That's the second time today he's run the football for over 20 yards on a quarterback keeper, and he runs it all the way to the Colts' 32-yard line for a first down. At the 19-yard line, Tennessee on the move, looking for more points. They lead 14-13. Play action, Tannehill fires upfield. It's a slant pattern. That's a catch and a fumble. The ball is out at the five-yard line. It's Rock Yassine. He's running down the far sideline, and they have not blown the play dead just yet as Yassine gets rocked out of bounds by the quarterback, Ryan Tannehill. That should go down as a catch at the five-yard line to Tennessee, and then a fumble recovery by the Colts and taken away by Rock Yassine. Hines stays in as the back to the left of Wentz. Play clock down to two. Wentz gets the shotgun snap, backs the throw, feeling heat, and he's going to go down for the third time today. That's a sack. Harold Landry knifes down Carson Wentz around the 20-yard line, a loss of 12. They're going to spot him down at the 22, but still a significant play for Harold Landry coming off the edge. Now it's fourth and 20. Tannehill out of the gun, three receivers deployed to the left side. As a running back to his right, that's McNichols. Takes a shotgun snap, throws right side to McNichols at the five-yard line, and he will turn the corner and get into the end zone for a touchdown. The back out of the backfield from 10 yards out, and it's Jeremy McNichols. Tannehill with his third touchdown pass today, <laughs> and Tennessee leads again by 7, 20 to 13. Only up by 7, it's 20 to 13, just to give them a two-score advantage with 12.56 to go in the game. I'll on the left hash. I'll take this. Tannehill out of the gun, barking the signals. Hands off to Derrick Henry, oh. and he walks in, cruises untouched into the end zone on a two-point try, and it is good. Ball on the left hash now for Carson Wentz. Two receivers go to the right, then two go left, including the tight end, Jack Doyle. Wentz backs the pass, looks left, fires the near flat to the back. That's Naeem Hines, skips out of a tackle, down the near sideline. There he goes, 20, 15, and he's pushed out of bounds around the 10-yard line. What a great run, great balance by Naeem Hines, and he wheels it all the way inside the red zone. Let's see where they mark him out. It's going to be inside the 10 around the 6-yard line. Last week, he was 4 out of 5 against Seattle, made from 33, 30, 24, and 36. 
This one will be a 32-yard effort. Snap, ball down. Bullock's kick is up, and the former Cincinnati Bengal drives it through, and it's good. And it's back to a nine-point lead again. Tennessee in control. It's 25 to 16. This is going to be a 51-yard field goal here from Rodrigo Blankenship. This would be his first make over 50. He had a career-long 53-yarder last year. This one to keep the hopes alive for the Colts. Out of the hold of Sanchez. Ball down. Kick is up from 51. Has the distance. And it is no good. He pushed it wide to the right. And that miss will about do it. No good from 51. That's the first miss this season from Rodrigo Blankenship. And the Colts are going to fall here in week number three. The Colts have lost their last two games, by the way, to the Titans and are two games back of them in the AFC South and lose out again on that early season tiebreaker with a head-to-head -head loss this afternoon. Tennessee improves to 2-1, 1-1 one, one 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 at home. And our final score on the Ruoff Mortgage scoreboard, it's the Tennessee Titans 25 and the Colts 16.